In this video, I'm going to show you how to export a list of WordPress posts. Now, I'm not interested in the content of those posts. What I want is a list of the posts, their titles, and some other information about them, such as their publication date. I'll be able to take that information and use it as the basis uh, for a content audit. Now, the tool I'm going to use to export my list of posts is called PHP MyAdmin. And this is a tool that your web host should make available to you. You should be able to find it in your hosting environment or your hosting uh, back office. I host my website with SiteGround, so I can show you now how to access PHP MyAdmin in SiteGround. But if you host your website elsewhere, then your experience may be slightly different. So here we are in SiteGround, and I've already gone to my list of websites. I'm going to find the website that I'm interested in and click on Site Tools. When Site Tools has loaded, then I'm going to go to Site, MySQL, then over to the PHP MyAdmin tab and finally click on Access PHP MyAdmin. That will open PHP MyAdmin in a new browser tab. So here we are in PHP MyAdmin. On the left here, you can see a list of databases that I have access to. And I can also get that information by clicking on Databases up here in the top menu. I want to find the database for my live or production website. And I know already that it's this bottom one here that starts with Techni, and that matches the start of the domain name of my live website. So I'm going to click on that database. PHP MyAdmin will now show me all of the tables that are inside that database. And the table that I'm interested in is called WP Posts. This is a standard WordPress database table, and it contains all of your post and page content, as well as some information about your posts and pages. So I'm going to go ahead and click on WP Posts. Now PHP MyAdmin is showing me the columns or fields, if you like, within that database table. And I can also see some rows here. Now, I'm not interested in all of this information. For example, I don't want the post content. So I'm now going to use something called a SQL query, a little snippet of code to select just the information that I'm interested in by going to SQL up here in that top menu. So here we are in the SQL query section and I can paste in my query. Now this is a query that you'll find on my website in an article that's linked to in the description of this video. So there you go, I've pasted in my query and feel free to go to my website and grab that query if you want to use it. Now, once I've pasted in my query, I can, if I want, click format to add the indentation, which makes it look nice. You don't need to do that, but I quite like it. And then when I'm happy with the query, I'm going to go ahead and click go over here on the right. But before I do that, let's have a quick look at the query itself. In this query, I'm selecting some columns, post title, post name, post date, and post modified from the database table WP posts that we were just looking at. And I'm only interested in post content, so not pages. And I'm only interested in published posts, so not drafts. And then I'd like the results to be ordered by date. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on the Go button. And here are the results of my query. You can see that I have the four columns that I specified. Post title, that's hopefully self-evident. Post name, which is the 
slug or the end part of the URL for the post and then post date and also the most recently post modified date. So I'm really happy with that information. That's what I need for my content audit. So the last step is to export it. And I'm going to do that by scrolling right to the bottom. And there are a few different export options on this page, but the one that I want is here in the query results operations panel. So now I'm going to click on export. And here I have some options for exporting my data. Most importantly, I can choose a format. Now, I want my data in CSV format so that I can continue to edit it in Excel or maybe import it into Google Sheets. And I also want to make sure that dump all rows is selected. That sounds a bit alarming, but it basically means export all rows. It won't affect my database or the database table in any way. So when I'm happy with my settings, I can click go over here on the right and it will generate for me my CSV file, which I can save off. And now let's just have a quick look at it. So I'm now opening my CSV file. Um, if you bear with me, I'll just drag it across. And here you go, here's my CSV data. I have the post title, the post name, which is the URL um, slug, so the end part of the URL. I also have my post dates and my post modified. So that's a brilliant place for me to start with my content audit. I hope you found this useful.